Hi Aries, welcome to your full moon love reading. So this is gonna uncover revelations or secrets or anything brewing underneath the surface that spirit wants to illuminate for you during this full moon in Scorpio. So we're gonna dive right in and see what's in your love energy field, Aries. So this is gonna cover the 27th and the 28th. So this could be when the revelations happen, any secrets, exposures being revealed, like anything like that or it could also be when something actually goes down so we are gonna find out what spirit wants to let you know what do you want to let aries know what's going on in their love energy what needs to be illuminated of course we have the moon coming out for this moon reading okay we have the moon in reverse so someone's feelings about you are being kept underneath the surface but we're gonna find out what that's all about aren't we spirit we are breathing in and attracting the right answer for Aries. Why is the moon in reverse? Who's in Aries energy field like this? This could be a Pisces, by the way, but Cancer is also ruled by the moon. Technically, that's supposed to be a Pisces card. This could also be an earth sign energy. So we have the six of pentacles. So this is the energy. This could be a fixed earth sign too, by the way. So this is, um, it could be, why did I want to say Capricorn? That is not fixed. That is cardinal um taurus wow i'm really going crazy here and we are in taurus season interesting it's funny i kind of had that little slip up i always feel like that's a sign from spirit it's like someone's like really not sure of how to get something out to you or say something to you in the correct way i feel like with the moon in reverse and six of pentacles in reverse there's something being or covered up and i feel like it's their knowledge of a lack of exchange here I almost feel like it was unequal give and take. You gave more, perhaps. And with the death card in reverse, totally makes sense. Death is a very, it's a Scorpio card, too. So this person could have been a Scorpio. This person could have been a Taurus or just any earth sign in general. Or this person could have been a Cancer or a Pisces. But with the death card coming out in reverse, death in reverse is all about blocked energy. When you die, you transition to the next realm, right? You go into the next dimension. So with this in reverse, it's like someone doesn't want to move forward, even confirmed with the chariot underneath that, the chariot in reverse, blocked energy. Someone does not want to move forward with the feelings that they have towards you or they don't want to bring into the surface. They're afraid of bringing them to the light because I do think that would, um, they would have to acknowledge that they didn't treat you well. There was an unequal exchange going on. Something wasn't equal give and take. And I think that kind of, um, that makes this person fear in some way. It's like facing a demon that they know they got to face, but they don't want to face this demon. It's like they'd rather live a lie. DNA karma. I do think this was a karmic relationship. Whoever this was, this was definitely a karmic cycle. And then we have love coming out. Love, compassion. So I almost feel like you gave this person a lot of love. You poured a lot of love, a lot of your heart into this person. And we kind of sense that too with the moon. That's like deep heartfelt emotions. And I even feel like with the moon in reverse, this person did feel the same way, but they were afraid to say it. Or maybe they did say it, but they didn't act like it with the six of pentacles in reverse. They didn't show you the love that you needed to see, the love that you were giving them. It wasn't equal. It wasn't the same. Yeah, we have deception here. It totally makes sense with the moon in reverse. I do think that this person was a liar in a way. I think that this person, even if they didn't directly lie to you, it was like they lied to themselves. I feel like they lied to themselves about the feelings they had for you. They acted like it wasn't that serious, but they really got tangled up in you with that DNA karma coming out. Let your friends help you give your relationship a chance. So I don't know if you know this person through mutual friends. This could be a sign for the future. But if you guys hang out with mutual friends, this you could run into each other. Give your relationship a chance, though. That's I feel like that is truly what this person wants. Even with the love energy coming out, it's like a hand reaching out to another hand. I feel like this person wants another opportunity to prove themselves. I'm almost getting the sense, though, that they know they don't deserve it. All right, let's get a little bit more about what's being revealed for Aries. What is being revealed for Aries under the light of this Scorpio full moon? What's being revealed for Aries? Keep going. Victory. Okay, even has your Aries energy on that. I love that. And then we have 44 at the top. 
So whatever is going on here, it was divinely planned. I feel like if this person broke your heart or they weren't that serious, they were afraid to commit, that was all divinely planned for your growth. Rest and reconsider. So I feel like you got a lot of options on the table, Aries. Spirit wants you to definitely um, look at all of them. Don't just go to this person because they're in your energy field. They're heavily thinking about you. They can't move on from you. They're very entangled in you. But let's see what spirit really wants you to do about this. Because we do have give your relationship a chance and love. Find balance. So I really feel like with rest and reconsider, find balance. This is all about doing you. If you feel balanced reaching out to this person, kind of rekindling something, having another go at things, by all means, do that. But if giving yourself peace means kind of just like letting this go, letting it be, doing what you got to do, do that as well. This is all about doing things in moderation, doing things as they make sense to you. What else have we got for Aries? What else is going on for Aries? What just flipped out? independence. Yeah, I definitely feel like this separation was div divinely planned. This was something where you guys had to grow apart from each other. But at the same time, I do think that this relationship taught you a lot. And I think it's all in divine order, right? Like it all happened at a certain time for certain reasons. You were together to learn certain lessons and then apart to learn certain lessons. We have open intuition, seek clarification, energy signature. The past is in the present. So I'm telling you, this person's energy is definitely still in your field. Whoever this is, I feel like they can't, they're very stuck on you. They're very entangled in you. They're kind of caught up in the rapture of love, if you will. Okay, Anita Baker. So yeah, that's definitely the energy. They're very intertwined in you. And I almost feel like the more peace you find within yourself, the more balance, the more peace, the more independence. It's like the more they're drawn to you. They're really drawn to your self-love. Let's get a number clarification for what's going on between you and this person, Aries. We have two and two. Harmonious energy here. Two and two adds up to four, obviously. That's all about security, stability, like the four legs of a chair, four legs of a table, four member family units, all about security and structure. So I do feel like that's what this person wants with you and they see you being good on your own and it almost makes them want, them, want you more. But I feel like, yeah, that's what's being revealed. This person definitely, they're very caught up in you. That's what's going on here. So I hope that this resonated with you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in a new moon phase reading very soon. Thank you so much.